What's a, a Boltzmann brain? A Boltzmann brain is kind of a weird fluctuation of a particle configuration going back actually to the very first question that you asked me when we started this conversation. So in the far future, there will just be these particles wafting through the void governed by quantum mechanics. And, and every so often en route to eternity, those particles can kind of bang into each other in an interesting way. It won't happen often because these particles are mostly isolated. But again, if you're waiting infinitely long times or arbitrarily long finite times, weird things can happen. And one of the weird things is particles can bang into each other and create or recreate a human brain out there in the void. And that brain floating in the void can have a thought or two. And these are called Boltzmann brains, Ludwig Boltzmann. He didn't actually describe these things, but using his ideas, physicists of more recent vintage have developed this idea. And the weird thing is, imagine that that brain floating in the void just happens to have exactly the same particle configuration as my brain does right now, right? You might say, well, that's rare. And I said, yeah, it's rare, but en route to eternity, it's gonna happen. Rare things will happen with uh, essentially probability one. So that brain floating in the void is gonna think it's me. Is going to have my memories because my memories are just configurations of particles inside my head, right? It's going to have my personality. My personality is just the configuration of particles inside of my head. So that brain out there in the void is literally going to be me saying, oh, my God, how did I get here? What am I doing? You know, floating out here in the void. Um, and that's kind of a weird, a weird idea. And, and the reason we come to this is not like for you know, some kind of comedic turn or something. The reason we, we think about this idea is because you have to ask yourself, what is the most likely way that a thinking system such as ourselves comes to be? And you come to a weird conclusion when you invoke Boltzmann brains because there's only one biological brain that we know of that's gonna say be me, right? Because there isn't enough time for multiple me's to form in the natural biological way, but because eternity is so far along, Boltzmann brains and my brain forming via this Boltzmann random manner, that can happen arbitrarily many times and route to eternity, and so will happen arbitrarily many times. So they're gonna be like a gazillion Brian Greens floating in the void, if you can think about all of time, and only one of me that forms in the biological manner. So if you ask me, like, who am I and where am I? How do I get to be? A dispassionate look at the numbers would lead me to say, I'm a Boltzmann brain that just formed in the void. And the conversation that I thought that we'd been having for whatever the last half hour or so, it didn't really happen. It's just a configuration of particles inside my head making me think that I've been having a conversation with Chris Williamson. But in the reality, I just formed right now with those memories of fake things that never actually occurred kind of a weird place to get to wow that's almost and weird uh, <laughs> but even further the even weirdness is it, it winds up being a self-defeating conclusion because the only reason we even anticipate the possibility of boltzmann brains is because of our understanding of the laws of physics quantum mechanics and cosmology and we extrapolate but if boltzmann brains are real then my recollection of having learned quantum mechanics and having learned general relativity, that's also false. And the data that I thought supported quantum mechanics and general relativity, and cause, that's also just a fiction of the particle configuration <laughs> of my brain right now. So, 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 so it winds up being a self-defeating conclusion where you kind of come to a skeptical nightmare where you can't trust anything at all. <laughs> so most physicists who take these ideas seriously are not really envisioning that we're Boltzmann brains. Rather, we use it as a kind of diagnostic tool to interrogate our theories. And hopefully, we believe we'll come to a point, which we've not reached yet, where we'll be able to suppress this possibility of Boltzmann brains, getting our confidence back in the laws of physics as usually configured. But as yet, I would say we're not, we're not quite there. So this is really a, a, a moment of physics in progress as we try to eliminate this, this possibility of Boltzmann brains, but we have not fully done so as yet. Boltzmann brain is still on the menu. That still is, on the menu, yeah. It reminds me a little bit of the simulation hypothesis 
Thank you very much for tuning in. If you enjoyed that, then press here for the full unedited episode. And don't forget to subscribe. Makes me very happy. Peace.